So, uh, all right, we're all in this quarantine, right? We got about another little bit Woo! to go. Quarantine. Quarantine. And uh, what you've been doing, like, I've been watching that YouTube, Hulu. I've been doing a lot of Bob's Burgers. What? I, I always like asking this question right now. Because, yeah. like, what else am I supposed to fucking ask you? Well, I, uh, <laughs> I've been working, and the days where I'm not working, I've been trying to, basically, I've been just driving out to Idaho and trying to find local gigs. Yeah. And that's been it, pretty much. Seeing which guys will, uh, like, take the risk of, uh, Oh, defying. no, dude. They don't give a fuck in Idaho. Yeah, oh, uh, that, go I'm going to CDA, like, right now, that's what I'm doing, too, by you, the way. You, you go in a place... Like, that's the thing, man. Spokane, it's, like, other than, I can think of maybe one spot that's been, like, kind of sneakily still open. But, I mean, it's like Pussyville out here, man. Everybody's so scared of getting fined that they're, yeah. not, they're not doing anything. Which is fine, but you go to Idaho, and literally it's like, I, I haven't seen a person wear a mask in Idaho. Right now, and uh, it seems like just normal life there. And I don't know. I don't know uh, what the cases are like, but it seems fine when you go there. So you're just like looking for gigs? Yeah. I'm just trying to get paid. That's pretty much it. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one should listen to us. No. <laughs> don't go get paid. No Please. Reason. I don't need any any but any competition at all. I would like to be the only person doing this. It will make it a lot easier. Yeah. Um, did you check out that umbrella club? What's that? Oh, or Academy. Not club. What's it? Umbrella Academy? Uh, I think I've heard of it. Uh, okay, if you haven't heard of it, it it's a it's a it's a fun show. It's about what like is it? Netflix. Mm. Uh, there's two seasons and it's like superhero shit. So you know me. Oh, that's my thing. Yeah, superheroes. Yeah. So, what appeals to you so much about superheroes? Shit, I know what I value in what they taught me. Which would be like... I think, you know what? <laughs> the values that are taught is what uh, appeals so much. And oh, those values, like the hero. Not the hero in itself. Because the hero is, never, is most likely a reluctant hero. Mm -hmm. N at least my favorite ones are. They don't want the power. They don't want to have to do it. And... Then, also, my favorite heroes will never um, do what they'll. They have a moral code, and then they will never step past it. Mm -hmm. They will never use the same tactic that the villain will use. Right, right. They won't cross that line, and they always have it. Batman. Do you relate to that? Batman, yeah, a lot. Like, Batman's the number one example that everybody can understand. Was, no guns. I've always thought, like, that you that you pride yourself in being the person with no lines. I have lines. Mm. What's your lines? Well, touching kids. Yeah, that's a hard one to justify. Or not justify? Uh, yeah, of course, right? What do you mean? Like my that's a line. You can't touch kids. You can't steal a kid's you can give innocence. Like a hug or something. No, no, no. I mean steal a kid's innocence. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say that. Right. Stealing Even consensually a, is wrong. Stealing a child's innocence mm -hmm. is a fucking line. Yeah. And it's hard for me. And no no. I I will not. Um God. I think that's like my hard line. Anything else? Lying, like, you better have a good fucking reason to lie to me. Mm. But other than that, man, just be a good person. 
Like, I don't know. I, I got lines like, don't kill people. Yeah. Don't rob people. <laughs> don't screw people over. Pretty standard. Pretty standard lines. They're easy lines I got, but yeah. they are there. Right. And also, don't tell me what to do. I can't stand hearing anybody tell me what to do. Like, don't touch that kid? Not funny. Alright. Not funny. Telling someone to not cut, touch a kid? No, no. Like, I would never touch a kid. I've had my own experiences. Right. So, like... Yeah, no, but but like, evil. but tell me not to do something. Obviously, touching a kid, tell me not to. And it's like, yeah, duh. Right. But like, you mean like your uh, other than my moral lines? Right. Like anything you're trying to create. Or anything just have a in good life. Time. Like if you're not hurting anybody, just yeah. Have a good time. Don't give me. Don't tell me. Tell me I can't go light fireworks off tonight. Yeah. Oh, guess what I'm going to go do? I'm going to hunt down some fucking fireworks and line them off. Mm. Like, as long as I'm not hurting anybody and it doesn't cross any of those lines. Yeah. See what happens if you tell me I can't do something. You'll do the opposite. Most likely. Well, that's It's good to it, say most likely. Because you don't want to just be yeah. that guy... Because it, it's weird, like people can. No, actually, you don't want to be that person. If you're just a con, uh, like a what a is cunt. It? <laughs> no. Just, um, <laughs> well, no, but like that's what that. If you're only a contrarian, yeah, then people can still just decide what you do. You know, they just have to do it a little more sneakily. I think what triggers it in my head though is um, when I'm trying to share the logic of why I think it's okay. And it gets dismissed before I even can get to my second point of why I think I should do this. Getting cut off. Yeah, and not being heard out. Or fully do you have any, heard. Like examples of that? Ah, I, I mean, my mom. Right. Just my mom. Right. Like, I honestly posting that barbecue thing. Oh, sure. Sure. Well, I don't like, think anybody said you can't. No, well, no, I had a conversation with my mother. Oh, yeah. And she basically told me not to. Without the barbecue thing, yeah, like posting the poster. Why is that? She just disagreed and didn't feel I needed to ruffle the, those feathers, because oh. I was fully yeah, well, aware you know of the feathers to be ruffled. Right, right. I'm not a moron. <laughs> well, yeah. So this is another tricky thing with trying to start out and just like trying to get your foot in the door anywhere. Mm -hmm. Is that you don't want to burn. Uh, bridges. You don't want to be stupid about that, you know. Yeah. Um, but you also don't want to uh, be a pansy, you know. Like, I I remember when I first started going out, and there were people that were just like, I would come to find out, <laughs> in like a couple weeks that they were just uh, either bullshit artists or like dicks. Um, but I'd always treat them super super well. And 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 I think if you if you're that type of person where you're just basically Jesus. Be like, I'm going to treat people as if they were the people they should be instead of the people they are. That's all good. But that's not why I was doing it. I was just being a coward. You know, like, I was like, oh, I might, this guy might hire me to do this. This guy, I might get a spot or, like, open for somebody. I don't want to, you know, like, upset anybody or have the person go, that guy's a dick, you know. And I oh, still... Oh, and I was there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I were late. I, I, yeah. I was there. Well, I think most Myself people, in comedy. Most people start there because you don't have any... Um, power. You don't have any like real voice or pull or anything, you know. So like, I understand. Like, I have a little grace for myself, and that like, it's not. Uh, it's an understandable uh, flaw, but also at the end of the day, um, it can impede you from doing the things that you actually want to do. And uh, there's a, a weird amount of people in the world that uh, literally get paid to just hold you down. Like, literally just, their job is just to be in front of you and keep you from doing things. It's very, very weird. Uh, and it's everywhere. I'm not just talking about, like, entertainment. I, I'm talking about, like, 
fucking Walmart. What know? it what what has happened to our society where we rely so much on others? Well, that's the problem. Yeah, we're all on the meal ticket. You yeah, know, um, I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be on that mail ticket no more. No, and uh, that's what everybody's. That's what everybody's trying to do. So you, you're gonna, you're gonna ruffle some feathers in doing that, and you're gonna burn some bridges in doing that. But the the thing about burning bridges is that it's like, well, what's the reason you don't want to burn a bridge? The reason you don't want to burn a bridge is because of an opportunity, right? It, it, exactly. Like but here's the thing. If you hang around for a place three, four months, and you think that, like, if you're have, I have this thought all the time, where if you have the thought where you're sitting there and you're watching somebody else being paid on a stage, and you go, I'm better than that motherfucker. I could do that better than that guy. If you have that thought, then it's like, uh, and, and, and they're not recognizing your value. And maybe you're just plain old wrong, you know? Maybe you're just, like, a wackadoo or whatever but arrogant as fuck yeah but like you still i mean to even want to get on a stage to go hey listen to these songs i wrote or these jokes i wrote in the first place <laughs> you do have to think that you're the shit you know like, you, you do, <laughs> right you do have to think so and so like and you may just be wrong and then you'll fail and you'll never make money and fine that's all good. At least you got on the horse. That's your problem, you know? Like, that's nobody else's issue. So you should be free to do it. And um, But the thing about burning bridges is if you're in an environment that is not recognizing your value and not utilizing you and isn't going to, then what's the problem with burning that bridge? Like, what's the issue exactly? Because you're not making me money anyway, you know? Like, really? Really, what is the big fright around that. Ray Sinclair, I dub thee one of the smartest friends I know. <laughs> one of the smartest friends I know. Well, that's because, a ringing endorsement. Because I could probably, that yeah. is exactly what I did in my thought pattern right there. Well, that's good. I'm glad I'm in the same headspace as you are. I mean, it, it's a it's a high up IQ headspace. That. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> like, that was, no, you, you nailed it, bro. Like, like, jokes aside like that's exactly what i did yeah i thought about it just like that and i was like what's the fucking point right they're not gonna pay me right so who needs them really and like let's not pretend that on their side of things too that's not what their thought process is Like, like everybody we're just trying to make money and so if you're if you're hiring people based on whether or not the audience responds well to them or they can draw a crowd. Basically, if they can make you money and keep making you money. Right. Um, if you see a person that's like, oh yeah, they suck, I'm never gonna hire them. Uh, I don't know. Then you're just wasting each other's time to keep going to their events and like being like, I appreciate, yeah, nothing's coming I, I really love the open mic. They have the best audience in the yeah, they do. The the whole town for comedy. Yeah. And but I I if I they're not gonna help me or they don't like my type of comedy, that's totally fine with me. Right. But I want this so badly. Right. That I gotta do whatever I can. Yeah, and it, honestly, it's like it's a weird thing. It's a weird pill to swallow because it's like humiliating, you know. It's like when you want, like, say you're a guy that's like, I need to, I want to open my own restaurant, and you're like, 19, and you have no education, no experience, no anything. You're basically but you worthless to the market. But you know what you want. <clears throat> you know what you want. You usually start washing dishes for a guy that owns his own restaurant. You know, but that's the shit where it's like you gotta do this like, yeah, stuff that none of us want to do. That it's not fun to do and it's embarrassing to do, and so like. In a way, I was a dishwasher and then a, a, a fucking whatever chef, uh, the prep chef. Yeah, like that's how that works. No, it is. It, it is how it works. But if you're in an environment like people do that all the time, where like I mean I do that, where <clears throat> you'll work at a place or like be in an environment where you're like, I feel like this is my value here, and try to be objective. Like don't just you know, be a crazy guy. Don't just be like, oh, because I'm me, I'm the best. 
You know, oh, I like yeah, I be, deserve this amount now. Right, you have to get that feedback from people, and um, you do need advice from people that are actually doing it, because um, you can Which come up with I took harebrained schemes that don't work, you know. But like, I don't know. Just this whole thing of why do we have this weird, um, like, if we're all trying to consider this as like a business, and we're all trying to just make enough money that we don't have to work some shitty job somewhere then and we can actually spend the time doing what we love doing most of our lives <clears throat> then like why are we pretending what what's with this atmosphere that like we're all buddy buddy you know that we're all like good friends no we're like business associates <laughs> or like acquaintances yeah. you know what I mean and like if you actually take somebody seriously when they're like hey man I want to do stand up comedy then it shouldn't be about hanging out after a show it should be about when you're on that stage you bring it and people like you and you have a good product you know well, it shouldn't yeah. be about anything else and like if you meet if you have well the, the, that after is pretty fucking awesome no it is well that's the thing like, like if you, we can't deny <clears throat> that that after is like you could beat that after. If you're, if you're, well, that's part of what's cool about the business is that it's like you get to hang out with people that are interested in the same things that you are and have like similar life directions and philosophies to, that you do. Um, Especially enjoy laughing. But then, like, also, that's ultimately like what it's not about. If you're taking a person seriously when they go, I'm treating this as a business, like, you're not taking them seriously if you won't hire them because, oh man, they didn't come to my party. You know what I yeah. mean? And I realize that in a, in, a, in, a, in a sense that is just kind of how the world works, but- um, It's not fair. It's stupid. It's a big fucking waste of time. Yeah. And, and also the people that do have the opportunity and the money already, if you're hiring people based on who is funny to hang out with, like especially in entertainment, because think about realistically how much time outside of doing a show or preparing for a show, that you actually spend with those people that you put the show on with, like me personally or others. I'm saying in general. Well, me personally is a lot different than what you described. Because you just have your friends. Yeah, dude. Well, you can make your friends that way, but well, no, no, like I that, don't. I didn't should make be, my friends that way. When I got lucky. What I'm saying is that aspect of your life should be like separate, you know. I got other friends, but like, yeah, man, uh, no matter what, like, if I don't like you, fuck off. Right. But so like, you, because so if I'm you, making like, didn't my like, way. But if, like, you didn't like a guy, like, he made you money when you hired him, you wouldn't hire him? Yeah. You wouldn't hire him? No. So I, I would I think not hire him I think at all. I think that's silly. That's fine. I have, that's a line. But if he makes you money, I don't care. Right. So you're not. You, you. What are you trying to do then? Trying to have the best, happy life for me and the homies. And that can look like a lot less money. It can with people. Yeah. And no, that it, makes that it, makes some sense. I'm not trying to have a mansion. No, that's I'm stupid. trying if to have a trying good to have a mansion, time with you my friends. Get the fuck out of entertainment, you know, like. Yeah, totally. I'm trying to have a good time with my friends. I don't give a fuck how much money you can make me. Are you a dick to me? Fuck off. Yeah, I don't get that. Me, per like, that. that's how I think? Yeah. I really don't Fair get that. Fair enough. Like, because you don't have to spend time with people outside of the show. Yeah, but I don't want to give you money either. I don't know, man. If, a guy, I, if, if you're a, guy... a dick to me, I'm not trying to help you. Right. Let's put it to that basis. Yeah. See, I think that it should be looked at. Even like, if it helps me. I think it should be looked at. I'll shoot myself that foot. Like purely professionally. Yeah, dude. I really do think so. That's not how I'm going to do things. And I'll do it my way just like fucking right. Sinatra well, said. That's the cool thing is that nowadays you do actually have the ability to be producing uh, content and a product without other people. Like you, you, you just need that. the drive. Yeah. At yeah. this point. So, yeah, that's all And right. then I think people get jealous of the drive because they don't have it. Mm. And it's just like, fuck, he did it like this? 
and they don't understand like yeah man it's okay you did it your okay, way here's a question here's a question for you sorry to interrupt you by the way you're fine but it, because you're trying to do this in a real like entrepreneurial way um what about the opposite where the dude is awesome to hang out with he's super cool to be around but he just fucking like walks rooms accidentally because he that's just how bad he is like he'll just the whole momentum of the show gets ruined every time you, you put him up. never get booked because you're my friend mm. okay so you would still not so a person has to be a certain level of good and then also not a dick to you yeah yeah seems like a fair enough way to do it to me like I, I we talked about the the five homies I'm I'm booking right now like Stacy, Dre, Theo, Laura, and Nick James. The, Theo or Nick and uh, and Laura are up and comers. I'm glad I snagged them on my team. Is Nick the guy with the spiky hair? No, 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 no. Nick James is. Was he at your Hilliard thing? Yes. Your skate thing? Yeah. I don't remember. Everybody other than Laura was there. Was he the guy talking about <laughs> the the, the dreadlocks? And oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The big like, old Hulk uh, guy. It was good to see. Uh, I don't know if this burning a joke of his. I doubt it. He probably was just saying it because he was. Well, there. give the premise. Don't give the punchline. But the well, it was basically because you put on a show, a uh, comedy show at the Hilliard Skate Park. Yeah. Which was crazy, by the way. Like. I it was crazy. Really? It didn't go. It didn't go as well as I wanted it to. No, but it could have been better. And if we do it again, it will be. It's true. I promise. It, it's that. tricky too because it's like, well, nobody knows who you are, you know. So like when you put on a thing, and that was free, you advertise it like uh, it is. You're you're showing up to a place like I've experienced this many times recently, where you, I'm not playing at real venues. They're all. Uh, closed or won't hire me. I, I'm playing at like bar and grills or restaurants, you know. And the thing you have to keep in mind when you're doing a sh show like that is that it's not even really a real show. Like it's it's people just came there completely for the skate park. Yeah, completely independently. And so you can't really hold it against them if they're not into it. Oh like, no, I I I've made. I learned so much. We're looking to do it in the in CDA. Okay. Um, but um, basically, we're not doing it in the park next time. I didn't realize that people didn't want to like step into the skate park for the show. Well, yeah. And, like no, no. I, I, miles an I, hour I, I fucked. I fucked up. Yeah. I, I I gave it a shot. I thought it'd be cool. Like if everybody like I thought everybody would want to sit down. Like in the park and like have a good listen. It's a cold world, man. And, Nobody cares, you know. And that's fine. Yeah. But next time we're finding the best grassy area, and yeah, we'll do. That'll make sense. We'll do the comedy show in the grassy area. Right. With the skateboarding in the background. Oh sure. Well, yeah. There was that was so that, like a the the one positive one of the positives to that kind of an environment, that specific environment, is actually something my uh, fiance told me because she came with me to see it. Yeah. Where uh, she went, well, if, if the comic is uh, sucking, you just watch the cool skateboard tricks. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I guess so. You do have- No, that's a great constant point. Constant entertainment, yeah. But <laughs> next time we do it, we're gonna find a grassy area like Hillier or uh, the Coeur d'Alene Park, yeah, has a really nice little back grass area. Do they? Do you? Are you in contact with anybody that lets you do it, or do you just kind of set up and go? That speaker has wheels. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Real gorilla. No, no, no. I I talk to people that are are not about this COVID thing, that own businesses and and things, and I get their support. And they they helped me out with some money, and then I like I did the this last one pretty much for free. I I paid, like I snagged boards shit like that just yeah. to give back to the community. Right. Like I don't want to talk about how much money I spent or anything like that. Like it is what it is. But like 
I spent money on that barbecue just so people could have a good night. Right. Like, we've all got cabin fever. There's <clears throat> so much anger in this world right now. And it's so hard to deal with it. And that's why when I see it on Facebook, I just can't stand it anymore. Like, you're just reciting what the last fucking person said that was on CNN. Yeah. And you don't even know what you're saying. I had somebody tell me that the Electoral College should be abolished. Hell so, of ignorance right there. I had to go on a two-paragraph pa- statement. <laughs> well, you didn't have. But they're it was gonna, right to. They're not going to abolish the electoral college. Well, it's the stupidest thing you could ever do because I'm not letting California or New York have full reign over the whole country. Well, you know, you know what people are really doing, like uh, uh, those rats out there that are keeping this whole system, what's the word, propagated or promulgated or something. Like the the fact of the matter is. You, like you have no practical skills, right? You don't, you don't have anything that is in the marketplace uh, makes any money for you know for you or anybody else. Uh, yeah, and and you so know how to move shit. So that's why you go into government uh, is because you can just kind of bullshit your way the whole time and you get a paycheck because it's forced from the population whether or not they think you have earned it. You know, so. The, what these people are trying to do, I think, in this uh, big system, you know, is they're not trying to change anything. They're not trying to make it better. They're not trying to make it worse. They're just trying to keep it coasting. Because it's a fucking scam, man. Like, I was thinking That's about, what it's been changed into. It, 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 it's a scam. Like, you think about anything subsidized by the government. Like, you take a small business that's subsidized by the government. Like... Basically, then you set up a business where you can turn out no product and everybody still gets paid, right? So any any anybody who's basically doing that, like they're incentivized through the game theory of it all to not want to actually make things work, like not want want to make things better. That um, it's like uh, uh, warmongering. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Like it, there's no point. Like there's so many people making money off war why fix it right exactly. or the pharma right. all that all of it well, because you like look, why like, why fix it if i'm making so much money like and you you look at those like those people what what they have figured out how to do is that life is oppressive because i i myself i'm like a capitalist i don't believe that uh, oh, I'm not a communist. Can, I consenting you on a wage. did admit who you're voting for, like less one of these oh, episodes. Trump, Donald Trump. Yep. Yeah, I you might, said it. I, I might actually end up voting for that uh, libertarian lady. I can't remember her name right now. Um, Dude, honestly, yes, I'm. I, 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 I'm trying to hate on both of them, so maybe a libertarian just gets in there. Well, there's like bullshit in every major party, but there's something about there's, her. There's something that's really. Uh, about Jojoism that's really like very sensible to me. Um, me too. And it's a little more realistic, like with how life actually is. Like, mm-hmm. that, so that's sort of the thing is that people have realized, you know, everybody has this little uh, parasite living in them called their stomach, and if you don't feed it, you're dead, right? <laughs> so you gotta you gotta have a way to Where feed it. Going? What people have done is that they figured out a way to structure things where the money is forced from the population. And you could even look at this in terms of like a corporate bailout. This is the same shit. Like the money is forced from the population, the people that are actually working and doing something that keep the whole economy running. It's taken from them and then uh, distributed based on whatever policies these different places have that they can say, we're doing this, we, we earn this money because of this. And they don't actually have to do any of those things. Um, it just has to sound good on paper, right? All right. And, and then really all they need is just warm bodies to fill the lower positions, you know? So you get hired as a warm body, and you basically just pay with your time because uh, the jobs are so easy, like a monkey could do it, you know? It's like they're, they're so, so easy that uh, 
You train a monkey. You to do you it. keep them in there, and you okay. make a little bit. This is getting real conspiratorial, just to let you know. But you make a little bit of a minimum wage that keeps people complacent, right? Hey man, I can own an Xbox and a big old TV, and then I can rent some like little podunk apartment somewhere. Well, at least I have two big old TVs. <laughs> and you do that, <clears throat> and then people are stuck working for you, even with these jobs that they hate and these things that they don't want to do. And in reality, they're not stuck because you can just leave. If everybody just woke up and was like, this is bullshit, like why is anybody working for this? And just quit en masse, they'd fall apart. The institutions would fall apart. Yeah. As long as then you didn't just find other retards to replace them with. Um, which, which you which can. You, you probably could. And that's why There's a lot change. of homeless people out there. Yeah, well that's why it won't change, is that they have a large enough population that just doesn't really care about how their life goes that they'll just keep stuck in these jobs for until something better falls in their lap and if it doesn't they'll just stay there um and we don't want that no me and you like we're not trying to get that but so that's the weird thing where i've realized like i'm stuck in this cycle because i have nothing to my name currently pretty much like i, wo I work this basically an entry-level job um <clears throat> and i'm on the meal ticket like if I cause too much of a ruckus, or I do this, and I get fired, then all of a sudden my life quickly falls apart. But I was thinking about that too, where I was like, I don't even really earn my wage. Like, it's decided by the government what my wage is. So it's not like I objectively earn that amount of money or I'm that useful to society. You know, it's just that it's like, well, we have, we're just printing excess money, and we have enough that we can uh, scoot you this amount, and if we force employers to pay you that amount, then somebody will always work those jobs, no matter how shitty they get or not worth your time they are, because you can force them to make them worth somebody's time. You can pay them enough for a job that, honestly, they shouldn't be able to survive on, that they can survive on. It's a really yeah. interesting thought, man. Like, I agree with you. Like, 100%, like, in it, I, I've never heard somebody say that like you did. It was very articulate, and I think a lot of people should, like, really hear that like mm. and really think about it and maybe you're not right yeah but, I'm probably not I mean but I'm 22 you what, know, I, I don't know anything. what you said made a lot of sense to me mm. and I hope some people like listen to that and really rethink just give it a thought yeah but let's end it here I want to tell you last thing anything that I do if you want to come play guitar you are 100% welcome, and I'll try I'll totally it. play guitar for you, James. Like, any shows, anything, if I could get Frank Sinclair to come, like, warm the audience up with some guitar. Yeah, man. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll try and find you some money and, you. and get you your fans because you're a great human being that deserves to play thank guitar. You, James. Wow. That's really sweet. Like, you, you deserve to play guitar <laughs> just to live. Wow, thank you. I like, that's how good of a human being I think you are, man. And anytime you want to come on here, do anything, anything I can help you with uh, promoting-wise, let me know. I will share everything. Oh, man. I like, appreciate that. Thank you very for nice joining you. me. And very amicably. And it was very nice. Dude, wow. it went really well. I almost feel like an asshole because of how nice that was. <laughs> but, um... Dude, come back on anytime. You're always welcome here. Um, and always welcome to come play guitar before a show. Dope. Dope. So, I love you, man. And you guys follow Frank Sin Sinclair on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. I have Frank Sinclair Music. All right. Yeah. So, Frank, Sin Frank Sinclair. That's a fucking word twister a little it bit. It is. It's a little tricky. S-I-N-C-L-A-I-R. But uh, follow him and follow us on uh, smash the like button on YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe. We're going to keep going. So, all right, Frank. We'll see you next time.